All right, peace and black power, everybody. I want to welcome you to another episode of Max Crypto News, where we talk about these tangible um, cryptocurrency coins at all at all times. We talk about the crypto market, and we also try to discuss, you know, what's just going on in the crypto world all together, right? Um, so with that being said, like always, man, I want to thank you for taking the time out to watch this video. Um, you know, like the page, subscribe to Financial Literacy with Mac. You know, give me a thumbs up. You know, just let the family know that we live and, you, and let me know that you appreciate this information, man. So with that being said, we're going to jump right into the market. Um, today's, the name of today's show is um, um, Nexonomics. And Nexo has cracked the top 100, but like always, we're gonna start off with Bitcoin because Bitcoin has been going on a tear and we're gonna start off with this. Um, like always, I like to come to coin market cap. And you can see off gate that Bitcoin, the coin market cap is around $397 um, billion. So that means Bitcoin is up. Bitcoin is up to um, thirteen thousand three hundred thirty-six dollars. Family Ethereum at three hundred eighty-seven dollars. You got XRP at twenty-four cent. Bitcoin Cash at two hundred seventy-one dollars. Chainlink eleven dollars. Right. So basically, you got most of the coins. Um, they're red, but if you look for the seven-day, that they're green. So most of them have been going up. Um, it's been a good week for crypto in general, and the news just keep me getting better. Um, yesterday, we saw Bitcoin get to some highs that we haven't reached in a while. That was around $13,800. And what I wanted to do was let you go to the crypto news and see what's going on. Well, yesterday, one of the things that went on is that Coinbase um, is shut down when Bitcoin started preaching, approaching the um, 2019 highs. That's around 13800 And that's something that has always been going on with these exchanges. It's like when Bitcoin start rising, rising to test highs, these exchanges be shutting down and glitching so it don't let you take profit. So that's something that is um, very interesting with these exchanges, right? Um, now, also, some good news, family, is that J.P. Morgan, J.P. Morgan has for a while been very skeptical when it comes to Bitcoin, but J.P. Morgan has now um, launched their own stable coin. And by JP Morgan announcing their own stable coin, this is good news for crypto in general. So um, the stable coin is already launched and they have their own network, JP Morgan. Now, with JP Morgan and the launch of this stable coin, this is going to, it's going to um, put Bitcoin a, a lot more light on Bitcoin. And now JP Morgan is actually, this is the wrong, um, they are actually trying to get other, other banks to use their network to add um, their stable coins on their network. So that is very important family. Um, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is the um, link I was trying to look for. It was um, Bitcoin price rises um, as JP Morgan um, commercialized a Bitcoin rising. So JP Morgan, they got their own digital currency. It's a JPM digital currency is in commercial use for the first time. And the bank on Tuesday launched a new business around the technology underpinning the coin that follows a Bitcoin price surge over the month. So basically, JP Morgan has secretly been working on a stable coin. Stable coins are like dollars, family. They represent a dollar. That's what a stable coin is. It represents a dollar to stay at a dollar. So JP Morgan has secretly launched a stable coin and has been in the beta stage. Now, as of yesterday, they came out public about this coin, the stable coin that they have is called JPM, and that's what made Bitcoin price rise yesterday. So we saw a spike in the rise of Bitcoin. So first, 
You got PayPal saying that they're gonna allow their users and businesses to do uh, transactions with Bitcoin. And also they're gonna allow you to buy Bitcoin, store it on their site. Now you got JP Morgan coming out announcing that they are coming out with their own digital um, stable coin called JPM and it's in commercial use for the first time. This is good news, family. So with this good news, it's gonna be a spike in prices with Bitcoin. So that's why Bitcoin saw rising yesterday, right? So now let me go to the Bitcoin chart real fast. I'm not gonna be up here too long. So what I want y'all to see, where we at, is this it? All right, where the chart? Two minutes away from it. Okay, so let's go to the chart. All right, so when you look at, this chart of Bitcoin, what I want y'all to see if you're watching, um, you're going to get some information if you watch. I thank whoever watched, man. Uh, listen, <clears throat> you can see that the price of Bitcoin yesterday, hold on, man. I'm going to have to use this. But the price of Bitcoin yesterday went higher. Hold on, family. I'm going to, um, I need, this this ain't the one I wanted to pull up. All right, uh, they took it away. All right, well we're gonna deal with this one. No, I'm no, I'm not. Cause this ain't what I pulled up. So let me get the right chart, man. All right, here we go. It's funny right now. I might just forget it. I was going to break down the chart and let y'all see the resistance line. I wanted y'all basically to see where our next resistance line is with Bitcoin and, and where we can see it, it heading and where the next resistance line is, right? So, all right. So yesterday, Bitcoin got up to around $13,800, right? It's a resistance line that is at $13,800. And that's why Bitcoin hit it and failed because it tested that resistance line. Once it tested that resistance line, it had to come back down. And that's what's going on. So it went up there, it hit the resistance line, a 13,800 because that was the all time high for 2019. It hit it, it tested it, and it failed. So, what happened was it failed, and now by it falling, it's a good, it's a good thing that it failed because what it will do, it was a it would allow Bitcoin to go back to it. And usually, it tests the resistance line two or three times um, before it finally goes over the resistance line, family. All right, so with that being said, so we can see that Bitcoin is actually rising. This ain't gonna work. Um, and that's a good thing. So now I wanna get to um, what's going on with Nexo. So now, um, if you've been following me, I've been telling folks for the longest to get on with Nexo. So. Well, today Nexo is gonna, they have some new announcements coming out. It's called Nexo, Nexonomics and Token Up. Nexonomics and Token Up. This is what they are coming out with today. Um, I don't know exactly what it is. I'm waiting to find out more information about it, but they will announce what it is today. But with that being said, you know, Nexo allows you to get paid interest for your crypto on a daily basis. So every day, Nexo pay you interest for um, keeping your crypto on their site, right? So Nexo Nomics is coming out, and the good thing is that Nexo has topped it's got within the top 100 of the coin market cap. Now Nexo is ranked at number um, 96. The price of Nexo was 15 cent per coin. When I first started talking about Nexo, it was around 9 cent. So it has went up at least 6 cents since I've been talking about it. Um, it's a good investment. You can get this coin um, at 15 cent. It's very cheap. And it, and it has its own platform wherein people are staking these coins and they're getting paid interest on a daily basis for staking their coins on this platform, family. 
Um, and this is something that I got videos on. If you go to Financial Literacy with Matt, you will see more videos on the next show. And I will continue doing videos on this. Um, with that being said, fam, I think I've been up here too long. So um, I thank you for taking the time out to watch um, this episode of Matt's Crypto News. Um, go subscribe to Financial Literacy with Matt. You will get this information on a daily um, basis. Also, you can go to NCRBGZ Productions on YouTube and subscribe to the YouTube channel and you get this information also. Peace, family.